Guys, let's just talk about how strange and interesting kangaroo pouches are. It's as if you've got this extra flab of skin. Like, imagine your belly button, but you, you stick your finger in and then your hand in and you can kind of open it up and continue on down. It's warm, it's a little bit sweaty, and it produces life. Guys, this is the inside of a kangaroo's pouch and I have never in my life seen it quite like this before. This is beautiful. We've got the joey, We've got the skin, the lining of the walls, the blood vessels. It's cozy, it's warm. There's food on tap because we have the milk ducts and he's even suckling it right now. This is like, I've never seen anything like this in my life. So pouches are sweaty. They don't have fur in them. They are like elasticated. The mother has four nipples that produces different types of milk and the different nutrients depending on the development stages of the joey. So technically, the mother can have two joeys suckling on different milk nipples at the same time. A little pinky one and like a fully developed one that's kind of just venturing out into the world. I'm just gonna, if you don't mind, can I just have a look inside your pouch, please? So it turns out if you try to touch and open the pouches of kangaroos that don't actually have a joey, they're not used to that feeling. So it's like someone sticking your finger in a belly button or your ear because nobody's ever touched that in a very long time. So it's like, ooh, this is weird. But this lady over here has a joey, so she's used to the opening, closing, that kind of feeling. So she's more willing for us to open it ourselves to kind of have a look in. So Daxon, why does a kangaroo have a pouch in the first place? Well, let me answer that for you. So when the joey is born, that tiny little baby is the size of a jelly bean. It's deaf, it's blind, and it's hairless. And it cannot live out here in this crazy, harsh environment. It's too hot, it's too sunny, it's too cold. So it needs a nice warm place. So when it's born, after 33 days, it goes from its mother's womb into its pouch. And that's where it's got all these little milk ducts so it can feed it and provide it milk. So each one of these little nipples that it sucks on constantly, and actually when it's born, it just, it locks on for two months onto one nipple and you cannot take it off. And this little joey, it stays in the pouch for eight months. So it goes from the size of a jelly bean to basically the size of a large cat or a medium sized dog. I would say this guy's maybe like six months. You can see the tail sticking out. Mom, I want to stay here. This warm hotel room is amazing. And she's like, get out. You're too fat. And after that, the mom's like, okay, it is time to leave. You are too heavy, you are too fat, get out of my house. You need to pay your own rent at this stage. It's a nice, safe, warm environment. It's like it's skin to skin contact. So that's super warm and cozy. And then the actual lining of it produces antibacterial, like a substance, and that protects the joey from viruses and parasites. They literally have their life sorted. For the first eight months, they don't know how lucky they are. It's like having an Airbnb with room service, and an Uber all at the same time because they get to go around and explore and smell new stuff when they pop their head out. They've got the life. Guys, to put more emphasis on the power of this pouch, pouch power, how it goes from the size of a jelly bean to a tennis ball and how disgusting it is, there's a video just there of the development stages of that Joey. So for you hardcore Joey power pouch viewers, if you want to check that video out there, it's disgusting. I didn't really go into it in this one, but enjoy. And if you thought these kangaroos were cool, all right guys, I wanna show you, like this is gonna shock you. There's like a version that is even smaller and cuter and they're called quokkas. And what you should do is click that corner right there and watch that quokka video. Well, there's multiple quokka videos because the rest of this video is just me telling you to subscribe and like and click that bell notification. But these quokkas, are gonna blow your mind. So if you thought the pouches were cool, these happiest animals in the world, they've got even cuter, smaller joeys that are smaller than these guys. Like the size of a joey is the size of an adult quokka. This Australia is gonna blow your mind. These animals are amazing. If you haven't clicked that already, you just need to click it because the rest of this video just ends with me talking about you wanting to click that now to continue watching more awesome animal videos. Did you click it? Good. Because you shouldn't be hearing my voice anymore because you've clicked it.